Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about documenting knee hyperextension. I see a lot of people that come in talking about their hyperextension in their knee, especially after an ACL, and they're always talking about how it's a negative number, they got a negative five, because their other therapist has said that or their doctor has said that. I wanted to clear the air on getting everybody on the same page on how we document hyperextension in the knee. So you can see with Laurie, we're working on hyperextension, we got a heat pack, she's got good hyperextension in her knee, so we usually take that hot pack off, maybe even the weight that's on there, and I want to measure what exactly is going on. For her, you can see she has obvious hyperextension in her knee. That's her normal. How I want to how I want to measure that and document that is I can get down on her epicondyle, greater troche, lateral um, malleolus, and you can see she's got about 10, 12 degrees of hyperextension. To me, that's a positive number. That's positive 12 degrees of hyperextension. If we were dealing with a negative number, like she had a flexion contracture, then I would say it's a negative number, like a negative five degrees of extension. For her, it's positive 12. How I would document that in my note, I would either do positive 12 dash flexion, which would be maybe 140 degrees, or you could do 12 dash zero dash 140 degrees. To me, either way is appropriate, but I just wanted to clear the air that getting hyperextension is a positive number. Similar to the elbow, if somebody had a contracture, that would be negative extension. If they went beyond zero, which I don't think I really do because I throw righty, then that would be a positive amount of hyperextension. Similar concept in the knee. I hope that helps you kind of document, get everybody on the same page with knee hyperextension, elbow hyperextension, and I hope it, uh, hope it clears the air. Thanks, guys.